most of them are non-Egyptians. Uh, some of them may be coming from uh, the Gaza State, from the Tamils. So we are facing in Sinai organized terrorist uh, organization uh, groups and gangs, the, and the, the war is bound to take uh, a long time. It will not, mm -hmm. it will not end any time soon. Uh, however, um, as, as you may see, more investment can be done in mm -hmm. Sinai. The attacks are basically targeting the police uh, uh, individuals uh, and uh, army uh, individuals and barracks. Uh, but, you know, in, in, in Sinai there are really some good opportunities uh, for investment. It is not only like for a social cause or a political cause, it is good investment. Mm -hmm. So, and it will bring good revenue. Mm -hmm. So, it is still a good idea to uh, direct this, uh, this money there. Yes. Well, Mr. Nawara, now, the, an Egyptian court banned the armed wing of the uh, Palestinian uh, group Hamas uh, as a Dino Hassan brigades and listed it as a terrorist organization. Uh, as uh, Dr. Harat mentioned, uh, a lot of uh, the terrorists could probably be coming through the tunnels uh, from uh, the Strip. Do you feel that this is a good step? Do you feel that this is some will actually help in uh, countering uh, terrorism attacks taking place in, in Sinai, or is this just a political uh, formality that needs to be done? I think it's easy, to start with, this is a legal, this is a legal verdict, so it's, no, it's, it's neither a political nor a military verdict. It's a legal verdict, and uh, 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 it, it saddens me to see that, unfortunately, uh, some of these Palestinian uh, forces have become, in fact, uh, counterproductive to the Palestinian cause because uh, for, for many years they uh, uh, were, uh, uh, in fact, giving Israel justification and excuse to bomb Gaza and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So that's already bad. To come and start leading terrorists to undermine Egyptian security and, uh, and uh, infringe its uh, territorial integrity, uh, uh, try to destabilize uh, Egyptian institutions and, in fact, Egyptian Egyptians control over a part of Egypt, which is Sinai, I think that that's another crime which uh, some of these uh, mindless uh, extremist groups in Gaza mm -hmm. have taken. However, we have to be very careful uh, uh, that uh, uh, not to put an umbrella on all Gazans or all uh, 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 Palestinians for that matter. I think that uh, we need to balance uh, 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 and, and, and sort our cards. You know, whoever, whoever is using uh, violence against uh, our land, against our people, against our uh, troops, against the police, against the army, against the installations and so on, these, they, they are terrorists by definition, by their very own actions. Mm -hmm. However, we need to be uh, uh, careful also is to uh, acknowledge that Israel continues to occupy mm -hmm. the Palestinian territory. Uh, Israel uh, is responsible in big part to all these terrorists' uh, uh, rises because of the frustration and the, the despair and the injustices that has been inflicted on uh, Palestinians and on the region for decades because of, of Israeli action. And because of the blind support uh, uh, world powers have been uh, given to, to Israel, shielding it from international system, giving it limitless vetoes and so on and so forth. Uh, uh, but, uh, so that's why I'm saying we need to make sure that we're, we're not confused. Mm -hmm. Whoever is using violence and, and, and supporting extremists against us, this is definitely an enemy. However, the Palestinians are our brothers. The rights uh, is, is something that uh, is a cause that Egypt has always stood behind mm -hmm. and, and should continue to do so. Definitely. Well, Dr. Harad, we're talking about the military uh, and terrorist attacks taking place in Sinai and Egypt, and we're talking about how the government is responding to these attacks. What about the international community? What is their reaction? How do they <coughs> pardon, view these terrorist attacks? Countries such as uh, the United States, which the administration took a little bit of um, different stances over the past few years. They were supporting the uh, Brotherhood-led uh, regime, and then afterwards they were quite hesitant uh, during the 30th of June revolution, and now they're supporting uh, the uh, President Sisi's regime. 
and still now after these terrorist attacks and these strongly uh, felt uh, attacks and commotion taking place in Sinai, how do you feel uh, a very important uh, country such as the United States administration are viewing such uh, events taking place in Egypt and do you feel that they will, this will affect the political relationship between Egypt uh, and the international community? Do you think it will affect Egypt's performance in the upcoming economic summit in China, Sheikh? The uh, position of the United States uh, uh, varies. Mm -hmm. Officially, the United States is supporting uh, the current regime in Egypt, is uh, uh, recognizing the election and the new constitution, and is uh, uh, providing the necessary uh, uh, arms and military support even uh, to what's happening in Sinai with expertise and with some intelligence. This is happening, yes indeed. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, uh, there was a high profile uh, uh, um, event organized by the Ministry of State uh, taking in uh, brotherhood leaders okay. and celebrating them and uh, negotiating with them as if they are a political force. Mm -hmm. It is clear to me that uh, uh, the uh, uh, administration in the United States is still adamant about considering the Brotherhood a political party or a political member, not a terrorist uh, group, which is, uh, you know, a, a, a contradiction in terms, because they have recognized Hamas, all of the Hamas organization, as a terrorist group. And Hamas is, frankly, saying we are the Brotherhood. Mm -hmm. So, so what is this? I mean, I mean, this is very uh, uh, bewildering. Mm -hmm. uh, Hamas is your enemy, but the brotherhood is your friend. This is very, very bewildering. And uh, what is more bewildering is that uh, nobody served Israel more uh, uh, than Hamas. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for Hamas, the PLO would have got most of the West Bank and Gaza Strip by now. Mm -hmm. the, the excuse that Israel is saying we are not going forward in the peace process is the split, quote unquote, and if the split goes away and the PLO says we are uh, uh, unified again with Hamas, the Israel says you are, you are uh, uh, giving hands with a terrorist group. Mm -hmm. And they say, no, you are uh, uh, aparting ourselves from Hamas. They say you have a split we can, for, for whom we can negotiate. So Hamas is the best excuse. And the news that Hamas was established by funds from the Israeli Mossad can be credible given the results that we are having right now. Mm -hmm. So whatever uh, small uh, uh, rockets and uh, fireworks uh, are thrown over the settlement to give them uh, all excuses to bomb our people in Israel, mm -hmm. Hamas That's is true. bad news uh, in, 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 in Gaza mm -hmm. and, uh, and West Bank. Hamas is the best excuse for Israel to keep there. So uh, I think that uh, we still have to work on the uh, portfolio of proving to the whole world that the Muslim Brotherhood, with its TV channels, with its uh, press, with its uh, uh, official declarations, is supporting the terrorists. Now they are saying, ah, we, we, we condemn the, uh, the terrorist attack on uh, the army, and we condemn the army attacks on the terrorists, mm -hmm. <laughs> and say that the terrorists are revolutionaries and so and so. No, the, the, you cannot be condemn everybody. You have to take sides. You are either with a state that is fighting terrorism, or with terrorism that is fighting your people and the state. So, and, and they say, yeah, we don't like violence, but this violence is justified by what we call the coup, and no violence is not justified at all, and uh, uh, attacks on metro stations, attacks on uh, uh, um, innocent individuals who are uh, like uh, watching the game in their, in their barracks, in uh, the, the soldiers, this kind of thing is not justified. Mm -hmm. Well, do you feel that, um, Mr. Nawara, do you feel now that as uh, Dr. Khadad pointed out that Israel is using Hamas as, a, as an excuse, do you feel that the international community or maybe the United States is using the Brotherhood as an excuse to still have some sort of a, uh, a foot in the region, some sort of a say, some sort of an influence in the region? 
I think that uh, the United States uh, and most Western powers have very long working relationships with uh, the Muslim Brotherhood even going to decades ago. And I think the, 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 these relationships heightened during the 80s, especially with uh, mm -hmm. the, the, the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan. Uh, Muslim Brotherhood here in, in Egypt were recruiting in fact, people are sending them to Afghanistan and, and, and they're collecting the donations and buying arms, you know, so on and so on. So there were so many uh, deals. And I think it continued uh, relationships uh, also in, in, in various levels of intelligence and so on uh, with the war on terror. Uh, we've seen evidence uh, published uh, on, on YouTube that the uh, American government and American intelligence agencies had deep cooperation with uh, Muslim Brotherhood. So uh, it is difficult to, uh, to, to actually make a judgment if the United States is in fact uh, using the Brotherhood as a foothold uh, in the region or as an excuse for foothold in the region. I cannot talk much about intent, but I can talk about results. The United States uh, has this cycle, which uh, so it would be, the cycle would be that it supports Islamists in Egypt, uh, uh, brand them as terrorists in Palestine, kill them in uh, Mali, uh, kill them in Afghanistan, uh, arm them in uh, you know, some other place. So there's a life cycle where the United States always starts by uh, supporting some uh, Islamist uh, group and then, like for example, Bin Laden in the 80s. And then after that, mm -hmm. it, it starts saying, oh no, this is a terrorist organization. We have to go and invade Afghanistan to 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 go after this or invade Iraq to do it. So the actions, without commenting on the intent of the conspiracy, the actions speak for themselves. That the United States, uh, uh, the to say the least, has a very confused uh, strategy towards mm -hmm. these groups. And uh, uh, now to say that the Muslim Brotherhood is, is just a peaceful force, at this point, we were just talking about this before Dr. Harat steps in, that mm -hmm. the Muslim Brotherhood themselves have now started to announce that they are supporting uh, uh, these threats against uh, Egyptians, against the uh, foreign lands in Egypt, against foreign entities. Uh, they're giving a deadline, like to meet on the 11th of February. If they don't leave, then you are fair targets to us. So, and this is not uh, by some uh, you know, obscure report. This is on, on, on Muslim Brotherhood websites mm -hmm. and good channels. Uh, I think that the new, apparently, the new leadership of the Muslim Brotherhood uh, has adopted a different, as we were talking about, has ad adopted a a strategy of despair, a kind of scorched earth strategy. And, and even at odds uh, with what the Muslim Brotherhood and other uh, areas of the world are trying to sell to foreign governments. Mm -hmm. So I think 